Professor Black Ops, you let's get it. T Mobile app glitches lets users see other people's account info. Come on, T Mobile. Uh, AK, that's not a hack, that's spillage, meaning it's in the proper system. Other people just seeing stuff that they shouldn't be seeing. Come on with the spillage, T Mobile. Let's check it out real quick. Today, T Mobile customers said they could see other people's account billing information after logging into the company's official mobile application. According to a user report on social media, the exposed information included customers' name, phone numbers, address, account balance, credit card details like the expiration date and the last four digits. That's a huge problem. As first reported by The Verge, some of the customers affected by the issue could see the sensitive information of multiple other people while logged into, into their account. While a massive number of reports started surfacing earlier today on Reddit and Twitter, some T-Mobile customers also claim they've been experiencing this throughout the last two weeks. Reported this issue when it first popped up on Reddit over two weeks ago, sent pics to other person info to their security team. No response, but wow, just wow, one of the customers says. Yeah, when you send it to the security team, I've worked on security teams and we get stuff like this, we jumping into action. Come on, T-Mobile, let's go. I have brought this issue up with T-Mobile representatives in the past, as well as my issue with being routed to Metro Activation Line when my phone service were suspended. So here's a lady, T-Mobile. Why do I have access to multiple accounts and private information on my T-Mobile app? I have brought this up, issue up with T-Mobile representatives in the past, as well as my issue with being routed to Metro, Metro Activation Line when my phone service was suspended, right? so. Obviously, it's been happening. T-Mobile says the cyber attack did not cause the incident. The system were not breached. Also, despite the significant wave of customer reporting that have been affected by this issue, T-Mobile said the incident had limited impact, only affected less than 100 individuals. I don't believe that. Come on, T-Mobile. There were no cyber attacks or breached at T-Mobile. This uh, temporary system glitch related to a planned overnight technology update involving uh, involving a limit uh limited account information for fewer than 100 customers which were quickly resolved once again i didn't think it was a breach we call that a spillage meaning it's in the system it's just in the wrong place and obviously more people can see it uh least privileges for the NIST people nine data breaches since 2018 yeah i was <laughs> T-Mobile been getting towed up. I probably at least got, I got four of those nine videos out there. Once again, nine data breaches since 2018. In May, T-Mobile disclosed the second data breach since they uh, since the start of 2023. After 100 of customers had their personal information exposed between late February and March, uh, hack, attackers hacked into the carrier system. In January, the mobile carrier revealed another data breach affecting sensitive information of 37 million customers was stolen uh, using one of the application programmer interfaces, aka the API. Once again, that was 37 million uh, customers. Once again, for the cybersecurity people, you got to test those APIs, see what they can bring back, uh, <laughs> limit them to uh, what you want those uh, customers to see. Since 2018, T-Mobile has been hit uh, by seven other data breaches. 2018, attackers accessed the data of 3% of T-Mobile customers. 2019, T-Mobile exposed the account inf info of undisclosed number of PPay. You see it right there, March 2020, December 2020, and February 2021, August 2021, and April 2022, the Notorious Lap Group extortion game breached the t-mobile network using stolen credentials so once again this is not t-mobile's first time so once again t-mobile app glitch lets users see other people's account info once again it's not a breach but it's a spillage i mean the information's uh not in the place it should be come on t-mobile let's give better professor black ops please subscribe